Hey everyone, this is Sanjay. In this video, I will show you how to convert your YI4K plus action camera as a webcam. In order to do that, you should be running in the latest firmware from YI, which is 1.4.14. You can check that out by going to the settings, again settings, find the device info option in this, yeah, here it is. Um, in this, you should be running in 1.4.14. Then, you will have an option to go live. Get into the mode section, and here is the live option. Once you click on that, here it will ask for a QR code for which I will discuss the details later. Now I will explain you how all this thing work. In your YI 4K plus action camera, you need to scan the QR code which contains the necessary information to stream to the RTMP server. From the RTMP server, we can fetch the data into the OBS studio which contains virtual camera as a plugin. What virtual camera does is convert the OBS stream as a webcam stream and you can use the stream as a webcam in any browsers okay uh, let's install some of the softwares which are required uh, to convert the cameras to the webcam i have dropped the link to download these softwares in the description below uh, this is an extractor software from this zip file and this is a just notepad file just ignore that now we can install the obs studio first yes the the usual windows installation let it is installed in the background now we can go to the nginx uh, we need to extract this uh, zip file and uh, once you have extracted this zip file go ahead and open it in this nginx folder you can find the conf folder here uh, yeah. go ahead uh, go ahead and uh, open it uh, and inside the conf folder you can see uh, nginx.conf just open it with notepad plus plus this is very important uh, you need to open it with notepad plus plus because uh, if you open in a regular notepad it will not work uh, go to the b bottom and uh, here it will uh, show push rtmp server under the url and the stream key you need to find this URL in your system. Go to the network icon here and click on uh, network and internet settings. Once you are there, click on change in the connection properties. Once you are inside it, see here uh, the IPv version 4 address. Uh, this is the uh, IP address of your local machine. You need to uh, copy this and paste that. Since I have already done it, I will ignore that. The stream key is. Uh, uh, not important you can uh, give anything you like but um, you need to give the same everywhere once you have given the URL here just save it and open uh, nginx-win.conf and scroll down to the bottom and uh, give the same URL here after that you can save these files and close it close it once the uh, OBS is installed, uh, just don't launch it, uh, uh, click on finish. And uh, now you can uh, install the OBS virtual cam software. Yes, next. You will not need more than one virtual camera. If you need, uh, you can do some research on your own and uh, you can use that. Um, I'm going to give as one and finish now the obs studio is ready uh, nginx server is also ready let's go and generate some qr code for our uh, camera this is a uh, site i have created uh, which i have hosted in github um, go to that url and uh, give your wi-fi name password and a uh, resolution to stream and rate at which the, your stream has to be and give the same URL in your uh, Nginx 
server then after that click on uh, generate it will generate a QR code keep the nginx folder in uh, C colon just uh, copy it and go to C colon I'm going to skip these files. I have Nginx already in here. Just launch it. If uh, if it asks for any firewall permissions, uh, check all the uh, check boxes and click OK. Once you have generated the QR code, you can go, go to your camera and go live and uh, scan the QR code. Usually it will take a minute uh, to connect to this Wi-Fi and the server. Once the live session is started, uh, it will show like this. As you can see here, the camera is in live mode and th that is OBS running in my system um, the live feed from my camera <laughs> camera is uh, streaming on the system now you can go to tools and click on virtual camera if you want to auto start it every time you can uh, click this and there are some other options you can select if you like it and I am going to click on start now the virtual camera is started uh, for example I am using a Google Duo to show that the camera works as a webcam I am going to call one of my another accounts see I am going to click start a call I am going to click on video call now as soon as uh, we clicked on that it will ask for camera and microphone I will give as OBS camera and microphone uh, we need to use another external microphone audio feed from the camera will not be supported via this OBS I am going to give an external microphone to share and click on allow as you can see this is the live feed from the camera and uh, this is the live feed from the other end and due to my uh, limitations in my machines the OBS can't deliver to this browser if you have a powerful machine like 4th generation, 5th generation, uh, i3 processor and uh, above uh, you may get a better performance from it and uh, I don't have any graphics card or any other uh, utilities to uh, enhance this so the camera is in live as you can see the time, uh, time is uh, going on my OBS can't receive the data from the router and process it so it may work for you for me due to the limitations of my machine I can't demonstrate you that sometimes the camera may throw some error like live not connected or something related to a live stream in that time you can just run this code or you can download this bat file to restart the nginx server after the restart process it will run just fine if you have any error in um, connecting the camera to a wi-fi network you need to regenerate the qr code i recommend to connect the camera without the battery uh, to a power bank or a type c charger because wh while using the camera as a webcam or a live streaming device the battery can be deteriorated if you use for a long time so I recommend you to plug it in a power source and remove the battery for this live streaming purpose or using as a webcam
if you need to connect the yi 4k plus action camera to an uh, av source this is the cable that yi officially sells uh, which converts the usb type c to uh, video out if you have a uh, av capture card you can easily capture the video out of this and you can uh, plug it into this computer and you may also use it as a webcam that is uh, one of my suggestions as you can see here this is an official YA uh, USB-C to external microphone adapter I saw this YouTube video in this video he has some tweaks with the uh, YA 4K plus action camera and he figured out the power usb mic and video out uh, pins in the usb c uh, definitely check it out if you need more information about it i really liked his video there is also a commercial version of a software for windows which will capture the uh, video feed from your camera and uh, restream it as a webcam here is the link i also uh, drop the link in the description below and you can check it out that's it guys Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or uh, any uh, other ideas, let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, give a thumbs up. If you like my work, press the subscribe button below. Thanks again.